Welcome back viewers, it's James Calm, the guy on the bike, bringing you another half-assed report. We're here at Mulherin and Pollard. One eighty seven Christie Street. And uh we're gonna take a quick run through a couple of shows. The first one is by Megan Whitmarsh, titled Fabricated Revisions. And uh I saw this show and I was intrigued and I thought I would uh bring you viewers a little report. Now um since here Megan is a LA-based artist who uses hand-stitched embroidery, a lot of these are uh, fabricated, kind of uh, simulated magazine covers. Okay, so this is like uh, one of Nikki de San Fala's mama pieces, big mama, and. Uh, Stitching and collage work is very nice. I like the the color played off against the black and white background. And uh, in the press release, it says, I saw a handbill for a 1914 feminist meeting at a friend's studio. Its subject was, what does feminism mean to you? The way that I was interested in feminism is the way I'm interested in many things. It's something peripheral to my view that influences my vision rather than being a focus. Uh, and she goes on to say that a lot of these were kind of her way of dealing with the fact that she looked at a hundred art form covers and out of that hundred, I think only five of them were devoted to women. So she made her own set of magazine covers. And these are all very nicely stitched and collaged. And these are all about 40 by 30 inches. And they're embroidery thread fabric foam. And most of these are about four grand. I like this one, Flash Art, 1977. But I don't think they had price codes back then. I could be wrong. And I like the way that she stitches in the text. Oh, this is very tight work there. Give me your tired and poor. I think this is my favorite one. So this is a great piece. And this is a little larger than the other ones. This is uh, 40 by 40. And this is based on that great photo of uh, Linda Bengless pouring a uh, it's a polyurethane foam painting. And uh, this photograph was also reproduced in the High Times, Hard Times catalog and uh, kind of shows Linda as more almost of a, uh, a performative artist. And we got a couple of large records. These kind of make me think of the big Jean-Michel Basquiat record, record paintings that he did. And uh, Chris Martin has been putting uh, record albums, vinyl record albums, in some of his paintings lately. Those are uh, 60 inches. Now, I was kind of looking at this piece and wondering whether this would be considered uh, poetry. I dreamed that I was at a snowball stand. I kept looking at all the blah, 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 blah. So that was Megan 
with Marsh, and now we're going to go back in and uh, look at an exhibition titled Paintings and Sculpture by Eric Dowinger. Eric uh, kind of made his breakthrough by producing a bunch of what he called uh, bootleg pieces and uh, he's kind of continuing that with this uh, selection of work. But this is all based on Warhol and uh, Eric is quite a uh, conscientious craftsperson. Now these uh, sculptures, these are wood with acrylic paint on them. I guess those are silk screens. The interesting thing about this whole uh, grouping is that uh, Eric has updated all the packaging. So uh, this is the latest design of the Brillo boxes. And uh, this Campbell soup cans have got the uh, flip top lids on them and uh, even his Coke bottles are using the new eco-friendly biodegradable plastic bottles well we'll just uh, sweep around the uh, installation here Now most of these are actually fairly accurate as far as dimensions and medium. I actually saw some of these up at uh, Gagosian's about uh, two years ago and uh, I was impressed with the great uh, kind of color palettes that Warhol was using and uh, Eric's done a great job of capturing that. And uh, Eric has even gone so far as to do a little intervention on a text, and I believe this was written by Arthur Danto for uh, Warhol's exhibition at the Stable Gallery, where he did his initial Brillo box exhibition. These pieces are all 36 by 24 inches acrylic on canvas. Silk screens. So each one of these boxes is 8.5 by 11.5 by 21 inches. And uh, that is a little different than the original pieces. Also, I think the original Brillo boxes had three colors. Black, red, and white. So this is a quick look at Eric Downer, paintings and sculptures, and Megan Whitmarsh. here at Mulheron and Pollard on Christie Street.